This video shows how to use Sager's JTrace Pro Trace Probe and Sager's Ozone Debugger to do streaming trace and live code profiling and code coverage on the NXP i.mx RT600 family. In order to see this in action, you need a JTrace Pro Trace Probe from Sager, an i.mx RT685 EVK board from NXP, Ozone, Sager's standalone debugger solution, the JLink software and documentation pack, and the Ozone sample project for tracing on the i.mx RT600. Make sure you have the Sager Ozone debugger and the JLink software pack installed on your machine, and you downloaded the Ozone sample project for tracing from external flash connected to the i.mx RT600 device from the Sager wiki. Connect the JTrace Pro to a USB 3.0 port on your computer. Note that you also have the option of connecting it via Ethernet. Connect the JTrace Pro to the debug and ETM connector on your i.mx RT600 target board via the 20-pin ribbon cable. Finally, connect J6 on the EVK to your computer to power the board. Start Ozone and click Open Existing Project. Browse to the extracted reference project. Here you will find a .jdebug file, which is the ozone project file for our application. Open it. In the source viewer, scroll down in OS start LED blink.c and set a breakpoint at line 42, BSP toggle LED 0, with a click on the gray dot on the left. Start a debug session with the start button or select Debug, Start Debugging from the menu. Ozone loads the program to the target. The application starts and breaks at main. Continue to run to our first breakpoint. Now let's have a look at the instruction trace window here on the left. It shows us what has been executed. The last instruction executed is shown at the bottom. We can navigate through the instructions to see what happened on the target before we hit the breakpoint. The source window, the disassembly window, and the timeline window are all synchronized with a selected instruction. These instructions are grouped by their source function. We can collapse them to see a source function level backtrace, or expand them to know exactly which C and assembly instructions have been executed. Now let's have a look at the timeline window here on the bottom. The timeline window visualizes the course of the program's call stack over time. It provides advanced navigation features that allow users to quickly understand relative and absolute call frame sizes and positions, which makes it a great profiling tool as well. For the timestamps, you can choose between cycles or time. Remove the breakpoint and let the application run again. On the board, we can now see the LEDs blink. The execution counters in the source window and the disassembly window visualize the code coverage, which is what has actually been executed on the target. We can see how often the application has gone through a line or instruction. The trace data is read and analyzed while the application is running and the counters are updating live. Move the mouse over a counter to get more information about how often an instruction has been executed and to get its load. Now let's have a look at the code profile window. It visualizes the code coverage and profiling information by source function or file. Sort by source coverage to check how many lines of source code in each function have been executed. You can also drill down to the individual assembly lines. The run count shows how often each function has been called in this debug session. The load gives information about where the time is spent in the application. Here, the OS idle function uses 99% of the CPU time. We can filter out functions which are of no interest. This gives us a distribution of the remaining load across the other functions. Now halts the program execution. In the timeline window, zoom out to get a bird's eye view of your application. You can zoom into any spot you like to see exactly what happened, in which order it happened, 
and how much time or CPU cycles it took, giving you great insight into your application. We can also export the code coverage and profiling information into a report. Right-click in the Code Profile window and select Export. We can create a report for the whole application or for selected functions. Reports can be generated as a human-readable text report or in CSV format to be further analyzed with spreadsheet tools like Excel. Select the directory to save the report file. We can open it up with a text editor and can see that it is showing the same information as the code profile window. This report could be stored with the documentation of the target system or used as proof of verification. This concludes the introduction on how to use Segger's JTrace Pro Trace Pro and Ozone Debugger in perfect combination to do streaming trace and live code profiling and code coverage on the NXP EVK for the i.MX RT600. We added the Embedded Studio project in the Trace demo download for you to modify and rebuild. If you have any further questions about JTrace Pro or Ozone, feel free to visit our website or contact us. Thanks for watching.